What's up everybody? It's your boy Brian. I'm here to tell you about some savings you can have when flying. So I live close to the airport over here in Tampa. It's about 10-15 minutes. So if you're anywhere in the United States or any other country and you're close to an airport, best way to save money is to buy the ticket at the airport. Hey, even if you're going on a trip and you're there, you can buy a ticket before you go on your trip. So, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, when I went to St. Martin, I had bought a ticket from the airport. I did fly Spirit, so I know some people may uh, it talk shit about them. Spirit sucks! Yes, including me. But in the long run, they are the cheapest airline to fly and have some of the best deals if you don't mind having some delays here and there. And even with those, they will throw you some cash to use on another flight. So St. Martin, by buying it at the airport, I saved myself around 40 to $50 than if I was to purchase it online. Uh, a lot of people don't realize when you purchase over the phone, when you purchase online, there's these hidden fees that you don't see. Government taxes, departure fees, all that other stuff stays the same, but you have the base flight for the, uh, the base price for the flight, and then there's these other fees that they use uh, for when booking online and also booking over the phone. So, easiest way is go to the airport. I usually go with my girlfriend. She stays in the car just in case they tell her to do another loop around. I go right to the front desk. If you go the hours, at least here in Tampa, every airport's different. You can check on Spirit or your airline's uh, websites. It's the best time to go is at 12, uh, 11 30, 12 30. It's completely dead. No one's loading out the car. You go to the departure, uh, go right in there, and you're out within five, 10 minutes the max so I just purchased a ticket to go to Houston there's a little candy pop-up over there I love those little pop-ups also I'm gonna probably check out Astros game and the food scene over there is amazing based on the stuff I looked up so I said you know what I don't even need to take days off I can just go on my days off go take a nice little two-day trip leave the one day I have two days off in a week I'll you know I'll do a double another day so then I can take that Wednesday off and then come back on Thursday I'm traveling on Monday to a Thursday so online you will see here the price on the ticket was uh, was 6460 so oh you're like oh dude that's cheap yes it is cheap but do I want cheaper? Yes, I do. And is there a way to do that? Yes, there is. So I head over to Tampa Airport. I go in there, go to the Spirit Line, go, excuse me, ma'am, I would like to purchase a ticket to Houston. I'm looking for the dates of September 16th through the 19th. She looks it up and she's in shock and what? even tells her fellow colleagues, oh my God, you see what he's about to get? What did I end up spending on my ticket? It ended up coming to, <laughs> looking down here at the ticket, $28.62. $28. Round trip, nonstop to Houston. I'm going, leaving on a Monday. I'm getting there in the afternoon on a Monday. Then I'm leaving early on Thursday so I could be back in time for work at night on Thursday. So that is cheaper than taking Greyhounds, cheaper than taking the mega buses. It's cheaper than taking Amtrak. I mean, uh, literally, some cars take that plus more just to fill up their tank. $28.62, I'm going round trip to Houston. And uh, that's pretty much pretty much that. That The best way to save, just head to your airport if you live around that area and do that. And if you don't, if you know someone that does, tell them to do it for you. Uh, the savings are big. Uh, for the most part, I save $40 to $50 every time I go there and buy a ticket. Good, good, good tip, not a lot of people know that. Everyone always just constantly books online, books through Expedia, books through all the other search engines. This is the way to do it. There's your tip. If you're gonna use it, use it. If you're not, well, I guess you like spending money. So, till next time, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and once again, bash the bell. Thank you very much. Till next time, toodaloo.